Today we're doing a, uh, a bit of a casserole. It's a one pot dish. It's one that I came up with on holiday uh, a few years back. And um, it's very simple ingredients. It's pretty meaty, lentily, beany, uh, but you can pretty much add whatever you like. We're gonna cook it outside. Um, it's a really nice day today. Um, we're on lockdown, so we're staying home and doing a bit of cooking just for a change. Um, so we're gonna cook this in the Dutch pot, but first of all, I need to get some potatoes parboiled. Um, but these are the ingredients. Uh, some harrogate beans, some potatoes, some lentils. I, I, I don't drain those. Uh, some Toulouse sausages are ideal, but I can't get any at the moment. So these are Grasmere uh, Lincolnshire's, very good sausages, very good butcher. Uh, a pepper, and I'm going to use a little bit of the pancetta I've been curing as well. So that's going to be a, a fresh piece of pancetta in the mix. So uh, I'm going to do a bit of prep and then we'll crack on, light the fire and see how we get on. So the potatoes are parboiled, steaming away there nicely, and they're going to get sliced up and thrown into the Dutch pot when that's nice and hot. Uh, I've sliced off a few bits of pancetta. Um, that's going to go into the pot as well and get fried off with the sausages. So we're almost ready to go and get that done. I've got the, uh, the coals underway on the, um, on the bench down the garden. So um, join me in a few minutes and we'll see what it looks like. This is the Dutch pot we'll be using today. It's a camp Dutch pot, um, which means it has little leggies on it for cooking in or around a campfire. So I'm gonna use the small one because I'm only cooking for two of us. Um, I oil this, it's nicely seasoned. There's a lot been cooked in it, so it's really well seasoned now and you can cook, it's almost non-stick. You can fry an egg in that, no problem. Um, but you can see there's a nice rim around the lid um, which holds coals to make sure they don't fall off. You can also, if you really want, flip it over, stick it straight on the fire and use it as a skillet. So we've fried eggs, done burgers and all sorts in the lid, upturned like that. So I'm going to get this on the heat, get it nice and hot, um, fry off the sausages and the pancetta. I've got to show you what that looks like. I'll cube this up. That's the fresh stuff. It smells mm. absolutely delicious. Mm. Uh, and I've had to stop myself eating that already because it's not quite ready to eat raw. Um, but it's going to be really tasty, um, fresh. So let's get the fire on and see how we go. That's nice and hot now. Let's get some of the food in. Give that a few minutes. <laughs> it's all rock and roll, isn't it? Um, the sausages are fried off a little bit and the pancetta is delicious um, and fried as well. So what we're going to do now is I've got a little bit more oil in the pan. We've got the sausage uh, fat in there. And the pancetta fat in there and we're going to fry the onions no not onions we don't have onions in this dish we've got some peppers and some potatoes so i'm going to put those in get those fried um I'm going to chop the sausages up into large chunks and then bung it all in the pan on a medium heat so i might need to take a few coals out and um, just sit down and have a drink and wait for it to cook just thinking about this this would deglaze really nicely if i had some beer i don't have any beer so I think next time I'm going to get some beer. We don't have any beer, so we've got a little bit of wine. <clears throat> I'm going to sacrifice some to deglaze this. Have a look at this tasty mess in there. So let's see how that goes. That should make a nice little bit of um, little liquid for the next bit of the cook. Yeah, that's good. It smells delicious. I should give it a little bit more acidity as well and a taste. But you know, we get on. Well, 
we're nearly ready, so we're going to bung everything else in. The haricot beans have had a little extra. They've soaked up all that wine from the deglazing. They look pretty good. So we're going to bung everything else in now. Um, the only liquid we've got is from the lentils, and these lentils we bought back from holiday in France a couple of years ago. And they are absolutely delicious with this dish. And then a few potatoes. That you fried. Yeah, I, I parboiled them, sliced them and fried them in the bacon fat. And we're going to leave that, put the lid back on, and probably give it, well, we'll give it as long as it needs, really. Um, it's not going to leave too long. About 10 minutes to start with. 10 minutes to start with. I'm thinking an hour. Really? You downgraded it to 10 minutes. You hungry? Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll see how we get on. It's all rock and roll, isn't it? Have a look. Oh, that looks good. Let's give it a bit of a stir. Give it a go. It's all rock and roll, isn't it? <laughs> so I've got a bit of a fire going because it's quite a nice evening. Um, and I thought I'd just transfer it on here and see how it cooks on the fire. I've added a little bit of vegetable stock. Um, and it's looking pretty good. It smells absolutely delicious. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry you can't smell it. Um, but we're not doing a delivery service at the moment. So it's almost ready. I'm going to serve up in probably about 10 minutes. I reckon now. Yeah. Reckon now. <laughs> probably about seven and a half minutes. Uh, but today's video has been brought to you by the words heat and light because it's almost summer. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're ready and I've said okay again. That's fine. That's becoming a catchphrase. Let's have a look at the uh, dinner. So we're about ready now. This is going to be pretty good, I think. It smells absolutely delicious. And that's had about it's about 150 ml of vegetable stock in it as well, just to keep it loose, keep it moving while it cooks down. Um, and I'm sure it'll taste delicious. So. Uh, have a cracking weekend. There'll be more videos tomorrow. I think we're doing is it pork, pork, pork burgers tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, so catch up with that and uh, we'll see you soon. Mmm. Nice little post dinner snack in the Dutch pot. Well done, Mrs.